Hey, everybody, Michelle and Sean here, and we are going to talk today on Profit Points about what is an LLC and is it right for you and your business? We have gotten so many questions from new business owners about whether or not they are required to have an LLC or if it's even the right thing for them and their business. They get a lot of um, messaging on the internet and on social media, um, giving advice on what is the best way to structure your business. And although, you know, an LLC can be beneficial for certain things, um, they always question whether or not, you know, that is right for them. And so, you know, we would like to kind of talk about what an LLC is first, because most people don't even know what that is and how can you know what that is or what's right for you until you know what it is. So we're going to dig into that in this episode and hopefully, you know, um, give you some understanding as to whether or not this might be the avenue for you. So we're going to get into what is an LLC. Sean, do you want to talk about what that is? Yeah. So LLC stands for limited liability company, and it's a legal entity that, um, you know, it's, it's similar to a corporation in that, you know, and and I'm not a lawyer, so (laughs) this is not, uh, don't take this as legal advice, but um, it it provides you protection and your assets protection uh, in case there's some sort of, you know, a a lawsuit or some sort of issue um, where, you know, to to help protect your your business and your personal assets. So, Mm -hmm. um, you know, you know, you LLCs are relatively new um, in in the world of business entities, um, and you know they're really just uh, you know kind of similar to a corporation. But you can have you know anybody can be an owner of an LLC. It can be a, a corporation, can be an owner, an individual, um, a partnership. Um, really, uh, you, the you can have as many owners as you want in an LLC. It doesn't have so to the be just one person. flexibility is really there. Um, as opposed to some other types of uh, legal structures or entity types, um, right. they the LLC is is very fluid. Um, the LLC actually happens to be one of the only types of entities that can be all the other entities. It's like a chameleon, right? It can be right, exactly. it can be a corporation. It can be a partnership. It can be an S corp. It can be a sole proprietor operating as an LLC. And so yeah. that's what's really appealing to a lot of people is that the LLC provides a lot of flexibility when you're talking about um, you know legal entity structures and, and things of that nature. Yeah, and it's and it's a little less formal than a corporation because you know corporations are required to have uh, board of directors meetings and annual stockholder meetings, those kind of things. And the LLC is you don't ha- you don't have to do that. And um, you know it's easy to if you want to transfer ownership, it's easier in uh, than a than a in a partnership or a corporation. Mm-hmm. Um, you know, obviously there's different. You have you have a lot of different tax rules that you might want to follow. You, you have to understand, but um, yeah, it's it's very flexible and it's it's a lot more easy easier to uh, manage than yeah. some yeah. other entities. So let's talk about um, you know deciding whether or not an LLC may be right for you. And we're just going to talk in generalities because there's a lot of times that certain industries. Um, kind of lean towards having a type of LLC or a corporation um, and others may not necessarily. So, you know, t- you know, you want to look at one, is it right for you and what you're trying to accomplish? And then two, um, what does your typical industry kind of lend itself to? Right. Um, right. And I think that's pretty helpful when you're trying to make that distinction. Um, We always like to tell people to think about these things up front prior to 
the actual start of your business, while you can create an LLC at any time, once you're in operations and you're in business, it is much harder to shift gears or create mm-hmm. that other entity or, um, you know, get a new EIN because an LLC is a separate legal entity a new EIN is required. So, you know, depending on how you were operating before. So we always try and tell people up front, think about what it is that, how you want to be set up so that you're not trying to make those changes down the line after you've already established many things like bank accounts and maybe a therapist that has is taking insurances and has used their you know a, a higher EIN or a you know their own um social security number and really wants it to be under the the company's EIN or something to that effect um it requires a lot more work to do after the fact yeah when you're when you're starting out your business you definitely want to um talk with an attorney and talk with your uh, with CPA and get everybody on board on the same page to um, you know, get you set up correctly and properly uh, up front. Um, yeah, for the long term, you know, yeah, not just exactly. for what is okay at this moment. Um, LLCs are pretty inexpensive to set up. Um, you know, we always say talk to your attorney and your attorney can do it for you. I know um, other people have used organizations like legal zoom to do those kinds of things i'm not saying that's the way to go um especially um because they always try and upsell you which i don't prefer um you know it just they they, they may not have your best interest at heart and so you know talking to somebody that you can have that connection with that can advise you in the right way is much more important than the the quickness or the inexpensive uh, route. So yeah, yeah, you definitely want to want to talk to a, a, a business attorney to help you understand exactly where your where this LLC can help you from a liability protection standpoint. Where there may be gaps that you may have to cover with um, insurance or other types of uh, mm. protections. So you know you, you want to have a well-rounded um, legal uh, opinion and legal advice on this, and not just kind of cookie cutter it with a online service that isn't going to you know provide any kind of explanation or right. understanding of what you're doing. Yeah. So one of the first things that I know um, when people come to us and ask, you know, I'm starting this business. I don't know if an LLC is right for me. Um, we talk about their industry and we and we always refer them to an attorney. Um, but we also talk about, you know, is your industry a litigious one? You know, is there do you have are you exposed to be under lawsuits of any kind that would affect the decision to maybe create this LLC and the types of, um, you know, protection and insurances as well. Um, and so we we pretty much start at that point. Um, creating an LLC does not necessarily make or break your business. It does not um, give you additional tax deductions. Um, People say, well, I want to save some money and I'm going to create an LLC. Well, you have all the same, for the most part, tax deductions that other other organizations have. yeah, you know, yeah. and you still have the flexibility, but you know, you may you may find that being a sole proprietor is is more appropriate for you at this point. Yeah, I mean, as as if you're operating the business as, as a sole proprietor, um, it, there's you have the same tax deductions as if you were operating that same business as an LLC that's taxed as a sole proprietor. It's there's there's no difference. There's no Sa- difference. Same yeah. thing if uh, if you're an S corp uh, or an LLC taxes an S corp. It's they're the same tax deductions. You don't you you there's a there's a lot of misconceptions about, out there as to as to 
Um, now, there's some yeah. tax strategy that can take place when you're talking about being a sole proprietor LLC, which is considered a disregarded entity. It's called a disregarded or single member LLC versus an S corporation. There are other rules and there are yep. other tax strategies that are associated with having an S corp, um, but the actual tax deductions are still the same. Right. Exactly. Um, you can still have, you know, um, business use of your auto. You can still have um, advertising expenses. You can still have employees in either type of entity, whether it's a sole proprietor, a sole proprietor as an LLC or an LLC as an S corp or a regular S corporation. All of those deductions are all the same. Right, exactly. It's just the, the it's just the strategies within, you know, the what you want to do as as that business, and yeah. uh, if you, if you need to organize as a, as a different type of taxable entity versus a, you know, a, a sole proprietor. Mm-hmm. So yeah, there's the the tax deductions are still there. You just have to you know see what cut what works best for you and and your business and how you want to. Yeah. Um, so um, when people are trying to get these um, entities set up, um, you have to understand that you have to get organized under your Department of State. Um, this is a legal entity that is separate from yourself. And so Department of State um, will require your registration. And then you'll probably have some sort of registration for Department of Revenue. And for federal purposes, um, if you are a single member um for tax purposes, they say, okay, well, we're going to make it easy on you and you uh, can file all of that activity as if you were a sole proprietor and put it on your personal income tax return, which is really helpful for costs, like fees and costs associated with things, not having to file separate returns. The complexity of it is so much easier. Um, so, you know, there's multi steps to creating an LLC if you feel that that is the right way to, for you to go. Um, yep. But for tax purposes, if it is a single member LLC, they do make it easy and you are treated as if you are a sole proprietor. So I've had people who were sole proprietors and then created an LLC and they say, well, it's so different now. And it really isn't. It actually looks identical. Um, It's just Mm -hmm. the, you know, EIN number of the LLC is listed and the name of the LLC is listed at this point. So once you've created that. Right. And, and, and that, that filing with the Department of State, you know, you definitely have to have to do that, and that's usually done with your uh, with your attorney when they right. when they uh, draw up the um, organizational documents for your LLC, which would include the filing with the Department of State, which would include an uh, LLC membership agreement. You're considered a as the owner, you're considered a member of the LLC, um, and you know, then there's the uh, filing for the EIN. And then, yeah, like, as you said, the Department of Revenue or Taxation with the state or states that you organize in. And you, if you do operate in more than one state, then you would file the or the organization documents with the original Department of State that you uh, that you operate in. Kind of like your home base. Yeah, your home base. And then... um, or then you would have to file as a as a foreign LLC in any other state you operate. Yeah, so in. it gets more complicated um, if you're in multi states, and different states have different rules for LLCs as well. So many of them have adopted, you know, the same treatment as federal, but some of them have like an, an extra filing form that might be required or a filing fee every year. Um, mm-hmm. So you really have to look at each state specifically. Now, you'll probably understand and know your home state, but if you do end up having, let's say, an office in another state um, and you're doing work there and you you have, you know, presence in that state, then you, you definitely want to be sure that you're following the rules of that specific state and know what forms are required. So things become a lot more complicated if you're adding uh, multi-state to your LLC. 
Yep, exactly. Yeah. yeah. So, you know, um, setting up and getting going um, all the same as if you were, you know, a, a sole proprietor or an S Corp, you all, you know, everyone has the same deductions. An LLC, what, another item that is really beautiful about an LLC is that if you decide to bring on another person, it's very easy to do that. Um, you can do that in different ownership percentages. You can have um, different rules drafted for different things, and it's very flexible. So, you know, I do have people who have been operating as a sole proprietor for a long time and then decide that they want to bring on a partner into their, let's say, practice or their business of some sort and uh, would like them to participate as a true owner. Um, and that is very easy to do with an LLC. Yes, it is. It is easy to do as far as the the mechanics of it, but there's a lot of things you need to consider uh, when you're bringing in additional owners and different tax ramifications for that. So yeah. um, it can get it can get complicated. So you just don't just don't add somebody. Just uh, with, you know, <laughs> well, it's like getting some... into a marriage, and you know right. you always want to be sure that you're going to do that, and it's always probably a little more complicated than you thought it was going to be. Um, and <laughs> you know, treat your business like you would uh, a marriage because. Um, it's as important as one. Yep, yep exactly. Yeah. So we thank you for joining us today. And we talked about what an LLC was, maybe if that LLC is right for your business and some of the misconceptions that um, organizations or people have about deductibility of expenses, whether you have an LLC or not. So we thank you for joining us today and we look forward to seeing you on the next episode. Take care.